When it comes to tracking your steps to stay fit, some of us are just kind of obsessed with it. You know, we always think of that 10,000 is that goal. Yeah. Well, now there's some new research that shows you might not quite need that many steps to stay healthy. Did, what, how old were you when you heard 10,000 steps that is the goal. And did you did you aim for that 10,000 steps, Suze? I mean, I think I heard it just kind of when smartwatches mm -hmm. came out or Fitbits, yeah. things like that. So it's honestly a newer vocab word to me, probably yeah. within the last definitely 10 years. What would you say? I think like high school-ish, like in gym class, that was, I think, I could be misremembering, I don't know. But I never really, I'm not the one to keep count. Like I don't have a smartwatch, yeah. I don't have a Fitbit or anything, but I'm generally pretty active as is. So mm -hmm. I feel like right. most days, and especially living downtown and, and either walking to work or, or whatnot. Uh, I feel like I generally get those anyway. That's good then. Do you have a goal, like a step goal every day? I mean, my I've, I've get, I get my goal every day. Right now I'm up to 5,000, 5,600. That's so, a lot. So, so, so far. Yeah, for 9.14 mm -hmm. a.m. <laughs> well, but we're also up early. We're up super early, too. This, Yes, we are. Um, the new data is actually interesting. It looked at 160,000 adults mm -hmm. with their step counts of 7,000 versus 2,000. Okay. So not all the way up to 10. Yeah. And seven, it seems, did the trick. It reduced the risk of many health conditions. Mortality was actually nearly halved at the same point with just 7,000 steps a day. And also really big help for dementia too. Um, yeah, I was looking at this. Dementia numbers were down 38%, cardiovascular disease down 25%, depression, wow. diabetes, cancer, all of those things down and that's with the 7,000 steps, not the 10,000 steps. Right. So it sounds like just getting out and being active that's going to be your key. Don't stop measuring steps right. necessarily. Just and I think that's a good lesson to people because just like you said, you don't have the, I don't do the watch because I don't trust myself. I'll be too neurotic about yeah, really? it. Really? You right. know that about yourself now? Yes, yes, yes. I'll just, like if, if I didn't beat the day before, it would feel like a loss to me. Mm -hmm. That's why I stopped running on treadmills because I could keep too close of a count on it. So I do think that should give relief that if you're moving, that is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, they even said in cases, you know, you could do fourth thousand and you still see results you know the other thing too like i think about when fit when fitbit trackers or fitness trackers first came out it's not as if it was a smartwatch so it's not as if it could measure hey you're walking faster hey this is a yes. high intensity workout yes. it can't do that now smartwatches now certainly can do those things right but it's much easier to it's at least it's that's not get top of mind to it. get obsessive yep. about it, as you just mentioned, mm -hmm. who needs that in their life? Yes. There's a healthy balance, just like with everything. Right. It's, yes. Yeah, there's a healthy balance. That's what yeah. it is. Moderation.